Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to do this type of layout here. So this is the kind of layout that we see a lot on documentation pages like this. This is the Trongate documentation. So on the left uh, we've got chapters and then we've got these pages here. And we can click in and expand and that's how it's going to work for us, okay? So we're going to be building... We're going to be building this thing and that's what you get, okay? Now for this tutorial, we're going to be just using HTML, CSS, and a little tiny bit of JavaScript. But there's not going to be any third-party libraries, there's not even going to be any frameworks. Shall we dance? Then okay, here we go. So let's start by going to our favourite text editor, and we're going to make a new file. I'm going to call it sidenavlayout.html. I'm going to save it to the desktop. So. If I go to the desktop and just double click on this little beauty, you'll see that the browser's opened and here we go. So, I'm using Emmet for speed and I'm going to just quickly do an HTML layout that's going to have two divs. The first div is going to be our left hand side and then the second div is going to contain a div with a class of center container. I'm going to have a little h1 that says table of contents. Then I'm going to have an H2 with maybe some kind of subheadline. Then I'm going to have a little paragraph with a bunch of lorem. In fact, let's go crazy. Let's have three paragraphs. So if we save and refresh, you should have something that looks a little bit like that. Now, let's add some styling onto this. And I'm going to go to just before the closing body tag here. Now I'm going to do a little bit of styling tags. I'm going to say that the body has a margin of zero, a minimum height of 100 VH, which stands for viewport height. Then I'm going to say display is grid, then grid template columns 1FR, 5FR, and finally I'll say grid gap is 1M. Now if you save and refresh, already you can see that our layout is starting to take shape. Let's focus on the left side here. Now there's no need for any extra classes or anything like that. We can just say if we're talking about the body and it's a direct descendant div of nth child 1, let's give it a background colour of all the threes and a font colour of all the E's. Save it, refresh, and don't it make you feel good? Now for our center container, so dot center container, we're going to say that the width is 96%, but the maximum width is going to be 900 pixels, and we're going to say margin zero auto, and that centers that content like that, okay? I'm doing a lot of zooming in and out here, by the way, just to try and make this a bit more meaningful, you know? But you should hopefully have something like that. Now, let's do the bit that you came here for. That is, of course, our left hand side. So the way that we'll do that is we'll have a little unordered list. So UL with a class of left nav. That's going to contain a little LI with a class of chapter. And I'm going to say chapter 1. In fact, let's have five of these. So two, three, four, five. And we're going to just change the text. So chapter two, we're going to have chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. Okay, so uh, let's now go downstairs. And we're going to say that if we're talking about the left nav, let's have a margin of 12 picks top and bottom, zero left and right. Let's have padding zero. Let's have list style type of none. And let's just save and refresh. Okay, good. Now, if we're talking about the left nav and we've got a little li, let's have a padding of four picks top and bottom, seven picks left and right. And let's also say cursor pointer. So now if I hover, you can see that the cursor is turning into a little pointer here. Kinda cool. So, would you like to do a little bit of JavaScript? 
Then here we go, let's do some script tags. We're gonna say var chapter elements is document dot get elements by class name and the name of the class is chapter. Now I'm gonna look through each of those chapter elements and for each and every one, I'm gonna add an event listener. The event I'm gonna listen out for is a click. The click is gonna produce an event object and I'm going to say var clicked element is event dot target. Then I'm going to say clicked element dot class list dot toggle and we'll toggle a little class called active. What's active going to do? Well, if we just say dot active, we can say background color is black, font color is pure white, so all of the F's and maybe even a little font weight bold. I'm gonna save, refresh, and if we click, you can see that that's looking fantastic. Okay. So now let's think about our chapter links. I'm gonna just for clarity space this down and I want you to forget about these for the moment. And in here, we're gonna have a little li with a class of chapter links inside this, there's going to be another unordered list that contains a link that goes somewhere and that link is going to say page one. Now let's have five pages, so two, three, four, five, and we're going to say page two, page three, let's go with page four, and finally page five. Okay, so if we save and refresh we get something like this. Now back to the styling stuff, we're going to say that our chapter links is going to have a background colour of all the D's, okay, all the D's and there we go. Now we're going to say that our chapter links UL, that's the unordered list, is going to have a margin zero, padding zero and list style type of none. There we go. Moving along, we're going to say that our chapter links li has got padding of zero. Then our chapter links li, the link itself, is going to have a display type of block. And then padding, four picks top and bottom, seven picks left and right. And let's just do text decoration, none. And finally, color is all the threes. Let's save, refresh, and there we go. Now we're going to do a little instruction for when we get the chapter links and we hover. Now when that interesting event happens, we're going to say that the background color is pure white and the color is pure black. Save, refresh, and just look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, now we're going to go back upstairs and I want you to copy the chapter links here. So let's copy. We'll bring these other things back and each and every one of these little beauties is now getting its own assortment of chapter links. I'm just pasting in. There you go. And don't forget to smile. Okay. So if we save and refresh, you're going to get something like that. So now here comes the cool part. Where we have our chapter links here, we're going to say display none. And clearly, that's going to make those things disappear. But then, we're going to make one more class. The class is going to be called open links, and it's simply going to say display block. Now, when we click on one of these chapter links, we are going to pick up the, or when we click on one of the chapters, we're going to pick up the next li that contains the chapter links. In other words, we're going to say var next sibling is going to be the click element dot next element sibling. And the idea is that we're going to take that next sibling, we're going to say class list toggle, and we're going to toggle open links. Let's just save that. So now, if we hit refresh, you can click on one of the chapters, it opens up, and just look at that, it's absolutely fantastic. 
Cheers.